We have, in the past, covered the curious visitor to our solar system, known as Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever recorded entering and exiting our solar system. During its transit and subsequent slingshot from our Sun back into the galaxy, countless astronomical institutions train telescopes and other data-gathering instruments at the object in attempts to decipher what exactly it could be. A simple comet? An object of alien origin? Or even a satellite sent to take pictures of our planet, sent by an advanced alien civilization, possibly to get a closer look at us? Interestingly, one individual who publicly put forward the most compelling evidence to suggest the latter is that of Avi Loeb. Receiving a PhD in plasma physics at age 24 from the University of Jerusalem, becoming a long-term member at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. Loeb has recently made another incredible discovery. Quote, Scientists have discovered material on Earth that originated from outside the solar system in the first discovery of its kind. The study explained how 700 individual particles or pieces of debris were found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean and are made of an alloy never seen on Earth. It continued, this is a historic discovery because it represents the first time that humans have publicly put their hand on materials from a large object that arrived on Earth from outside the solar system," he said to the Jerusalem Post. With the recent comet fresh in his mind, he set out to unravel the mystery of whether this had indeed been the first interstellar traveler to attempt to spy on Earth, and he believes he has found the answer. His search has involved a strange meteorite which exploded over the ocean at 3.05 a.m. local time in 2014, retrieving several alien alloys several millimeters thick from waters about 1.6 kilometers deep. Loeb believes the meteor, known as IM-1, was in fact a long metallic craft, just like that of Oumuamua, and that his work will lead not only to officially being declared the first to ever discover interstellar materials, but these objects are, in fact, alien materials. The question is, what does Loeb know that we don't? Loeb says that, quote, not only was IM-1 moving more rapidly than our solar system, but traveling faster than 95% of the stars nearby. However, even factoring this in, it's not clear how it achieved such momentum. The meteorite made of something extremely tough, instead of breaking up in the Earth's upper atmosphere, IM-1 held on until it reached the lower atmosphere. Exactly what it was made of remains a mystery, but it was far stronger than steel. We found that its material strength a few times bigger than all other space rocks. We will keep you posted on further developments. It is a study which we find highly compelling.